What is up YouTube, Silver Baggins here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a silver bar. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This one, I'm gonna show you how to make a silver bar. I'm gonna show you all the steps. It's gonna be um, very explanatory. We're just gonna go through it. Uh, but first, I wanna show you a bar that I received from a member of the silver community, and then I'm gonna show you how I make the bar that I'm giving him. So here actually is a package from Coinman5000. He poured me one of his silver bars. I'm very excited to open it, and then I'll show you the bar that we're gonna make for him. So let's just get this bad boy open here. Boom. All right. Let's see. Oh, he's got this really nicely done in there. Uh, just make sure that, oh, there's a note here. Okay, let's see what this says. Silver Baggins, I finally got to bar 47, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. Coin Man 5000. P.S. Today is Lake House Beach's birthday. <laughs> well, this was actually uh, written a while ago. It's not his birthday today, but happy birthday, Lake House Beach. Late birthday to you. Uh, so let's see the bar here that Coin Man 5000 made for me. This is really cool little bag. I love the presentation here, my friend. That's super sweet. So let's see. On this side it says Coin Man 5000. That is really awesome. I love the look there. And then he's got number 047. This is his 47th bar that he poured uh, in his series. He's got it 0.999 fine on the side there. That is super awesome. I love the bar, Coin Man 5000, wow. That is very, very beautiful. And uh, let's actually see the weight on this bad boy here. See how much this bar weighs. And then the one we make for him, we'll try and get it about the same weight. So we got 2.139, so almost 2.14. Uh, so when we pour Coin Man 5000's bar, we'll be shooting for somewhere right around there. And uh, hopefully we can get pretty close and get him a cool looking bar. So let's go over to the furnace. We'll throw some silver in and then we'll make him his bar. All right, so I'm over here at my electric furnace. Now, the way that I melt the silver down for my silver bars is I use this guy right here. It's really cool. Basically, you just put the silver in and it does all the work for you. It plugs right into the wall and it will melt it down and then we can pour a bar. So let's drop some silver in there. I got these... Uh, generic rounds right here. We need at least three ounces of silver uh, to get that bar. So let's drop in three ounces here. And uh, we'll kind of do this like this. Uh, one thing I will say is whenever you're handling with stuff like this, you want to make sure you're wearing gloves. It is pretty hot. I mean, look, we're talking 457 Fahrenheit now. <laughs> so let's toss on a glove here. I'm kind of doing this one handed. I'm showing you the rest of my thing here as well. We got my torch. I like to do ripples on my bars. There's the mold we're gonna be using. Uh, that's a really sweet looking mold. Uh, the bars come out cool. So I got my glove on now, and let's toss the three ounces of silver in here. It gets pretty hot, but basically, all you do is you just toss them in. There you go. I got some other silver in there as well. Um, you're gonna be pouring more than just that bar, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the bar we're pouring for him. So we got the three ounces in there. We're gonna let that melt down. Boom. And then once it gets up to temperature, we gotta to get to 1,094 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, sorry, Celsius, which ends up being about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So once we get to that temperature, we can pour it. Uh, so yeah, now all we do is wait. All right, so we're nearing the pour temperature now. And the next step is to heat up the mold. So basically, um, this little mold here that we're pouring into, we want this to be hot. Uh, right now it's super cold, I haven't poured it yet. And so we're gonna warm it up with the torch here. Uh, this is just some simple Map Pro Map Gas, and this will get the mold nice and hot so we can pour into it and hopefully get a nice smooth pour. So let's get that bad boy heated up and then we will pour the bar. Okay, so I've got my torch blowing on the mold, just really soft, not very much at all. And this is to help make the ripples on the bar when I pour it. So let's take my tongs here, grab that crucible out, and we will pour the bar right now. That's 
It's pretty good looking. Turn that off there. All right. So now, the next step is we take this and we gotta quench it in the water. So I'll bring you guys in here. Get it all nice and cool. Perfect. Now we'll set it up here and we will weigh it. All right, so the bar's all cooled down and this is what it looks like. Super cool ripples. Love the way it turned out. And it's kind of got this cool little step feature on the side. Sometimes it happens when the pour isn't totally even or if this side of the mold was maybe a little bit cooler, but it actually adds a little bit of character to it and the ripples are just so cool on that thing. But I got my scale here. Let's see how much it weighs. All right, 2.18, that's about perfect. Okay, so the next step is to put my dragon stamp on the bar and then I can go ahead and tumble it. I like to get my stamp on there first because the problem is once I go to tumble this, it's actually gonna make the silver a little bit harder and so it'll be more difficult to get the stamp on there. So I'm just gonna do it now. Uh, I'm using some cardboard because this will kind of accept a little bit of the uh, the hit when I when I stamp the steel stamp on the silver there, uh, but also it keeps it pretty flat. If I used uh, some leather, some stuff, or uh, something else, sometimes it kind of bends the bar a little bit. So you got to be you got to hit it kind of hard, but not too hard because we don't want to bend the bar, which I've had problems with that in the past. So uh, let's give this a go here. We'll just pick where we want it. Usually I like to put the stamp right in the middle of the ripples there. So we'll just do it. Well, you gotta make sure it's lined up first. <laughs> we'll just put it about right there. That looks pretty good to me. And then you gotta hold it real still and just give it a couple good hits and should come in nicely. All right, so that actually ended up looking pretty sweet. We got the dragon stamp right on there. It's gonna end up looking really fine when we're all done. So the next step is to go ahead and tumble this which will clean it up, make it look a little bit better. And also it'll kind of harden the silver a little bit. So I got my stainless steel shot here. This is just like a jeweler's mix you buy. And this is probably about a pound and a half of it. And we just toss the bar in there like that. We got our Shine Bright solution here, already diluted with the water. So we'll just pour a little bit of that in there. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we can put the top on and we will let it tumble away. Simple as that. I usually let it tumble for about an hour. Sometimes I do a little bit longer, uh, but usually an hour gets the job done for me. And where's the top here? There we go. So it's kind of one of those uh, set it and forget it. The cool thing about tumbling is you don't have to sit there and watch it. You can go to bed or go watch a movie or do whatever you want. And this just kind of does all the work for you. So the bar's in there with the mix and the shot and everything. We just set it on the tumbler there. And we will come back in about an hour. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> let's shut that down. So it's been over an hour now. And uh, let's take it out and see what we got. It is nice, it kind of cleans up, you know, some of the blemishes and stuff. and. Oh goodness, there we go. And uh, it gives it kind of a, well, shiny look to it. So as you can see, it kind of makes like a foam in there. And where's the bar? There we go, oh, I can already tell it's way shinier. See that? That's looking awesome. Let's get that kind of cleaned off here. Okay. Oh yeah, way shinier, look at that. That is super cool, and it really makes the ripples pop even more. I mean, the before and after is just insane. So yeah, I love the stamp. It turned out really great. The bar cleaned up very nicely, beautiful ripples. So now what we're gonna do is stamp the other side here. So let me get this all ready to be stamped with all the weight and everything. All right, so we're all set up for stamping here. Here's the beautiful bar, looking awesome. We have to weigh it again because sometimes it loses a little bit of weight when we actually tumble it. So let's see here. We got 2.181. 
All right, so a little over 2.18, so that means we stamp it 2.18. So we'll flip it over here, get that out of the way. And I got all my stamps here. Uh, the way I do it is I just have them um, uh, zero through eight, and then my period, and then the OZT. You guys will see. So let's start with two, because we gotta do 2.18. So you just make sure it's the right way, and it is, and then we'll start stamping. <laughs> So the, here is the final product, the silver bar that we made here for Coinman 5000. I think it ended up looking really cool. The ripples are fantastic on it. The dragon stamp looks great in the middle. And then here's the other side, 2.18 OZT 999 fine silver number 51. So we ended up with a good weight, uh, two point, I think his was 2.14. So uh, we went a little bit heavier, but you know what? Coin Man 5000 is awesome. Look at the beautiful artwork that he's doing with his bars. These are super cool. Uh, I really appreciate the trade, Coin Man 5000. So I will be sending this bar off to you here in the mail. And uh, that's the video. That's how I make my silver bars, how to make a silver bar. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Silver Baggins, out.